Hello, my name is Masoud Masoud Magaddam and I'm about to show you how my project works. The project is basically an AI which can play some simple board game. Uh, this is my GitHub account and this is me. Uh, if you go to the repositories uh, and you find MCTS agent Cytonized uh, repository go to the repository and download the whole project uh, let's minimize it and go to the directory to work with the project uh, the numbers in the first uh, in the beginning of the directories is uh, shows the versions of the uh, project uh, so we start with a simple basic framework if you open the terminal in the directory and run the python main.py you will see this environment uh, the game of uh, the game is the game of the hex uh, game of hex is a simple board game uh, and the winner is the player which connects two sides as you can see this is the white side and this is the black side uh, if the black sides get connected by uh, actually choosing these moves you will uh, uh, the black is the winner so let me do an, uh, do an example for you if we keep selecting the moves like this you will see that uh, the winner is the white so you know the rules uh, about the Monte Carlo tree search uh, which is the concept of my project uh, the Monte Carlo tree search uh, basically is an algorithm that says in some given time it can simulate the game by utilizing a search tree and it tries to direct the simulations to the moves that have the most wins based on their wins and losses statistics. The given time, the limited time, is uh, adjusted with this scroll bar. You can, for example, use uh, two seconds for each move to think, and this scroll bar shows the uh, game board and you can uh, adjust the board size with this we choose 8 and we choose 2 seconds to think and the player can also be adjusted with this one and also this scroll bar shows the uh, policy to uh, simulate the game for example we choose the RAVE uh, which is the abbreviation for rapid action value estimation uh, so if we first reset the board and click the generate after two seconds we see this statistics and the selected move by the agent the in here we use the generate and after two seconds uh, uh, 1548 simulations were run and the tree search have 4186 nodes in the uh, tree so uh, you can see also the uh, chosen move so we can uh, use this generate to run the game and go on and go on uh, you also can choose it yourself by selecting this and click generate uh, click generate again and choose this one and go on and see if you can uh, beat the computer in this game so this was actually the basic framework let's go to another repository to show you the better one first let me uh, delete these files and open the terminal again in this repository if you run python main.py you can see that this wouldn't run the reason is that this uh, repository is uh, I used Cyton to optimize the performance uh, so you have to compile the Cyton files first and then go for running the uh, simulations 
so for compiling the code you have to use uh, python uh, setup that py build x in place this command uh, gets the python in the compiling mode so we will be back after the compilation okay hello again the compilation is finished and you can see two files are generated uh, one of them is c in c and the other one is the so file uh, okay let's clear the terminal and use the python main.py to run the game so uh, the configuration is the uh, previous ones so we set the two seconds and eight port size and also rapid action value estimation if you click generate after two seconds we will have 2821 and uh, I can't remember the previous ones let me see and if I run the previous ones and check what was the number of the simulations uh, you can see 1445 simulations and in here we have 2831 which shows that uh, how uh, performance is increased in the Cyton version and in the Python version you can see 3865 note in the tree and in here you have a huge number 66,315 nodes in the tree that shows how effective is Cytin in uh, optimizing the performance uh, okay that was the whole project uh, I had some uh, explanation and description of the project in the directory the readme files uh, you can uh, study them <coughs> and if you had any question please let me know uh, in here I also uh, use the reference papers uh, which I have used in this project please feel free to use it and um, I said if you have any questions uh, let me know uh, okay that's all for today uh, goodbye